Hi, it's Miss Brooke. Today we're going to be reading Little Monkey Calms Down. Have you ever been told to calm down? Never in the history of calming down has anyone ever calmed down because someone told them to. So today we're going to learn a little bit more about calming down. Little Monkey Calms Down. I got my kitty here today. He's calm. Poor little monkey. He is having a tough time. You ever had a tough time? Little monkey feels sad and mad and angry. Calm down, little monkey. It's okay to cry. Calm down, little monkey. Cuddle with your blankie. Calm down, little monkey. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Calm down, little monkey. Sing a quiet song. Calm down, little monkey. Be still and relax. Feeling better, little monkey? Now, let's have a fun day. So that was a quick one, but it had a lot of tools that we can use to remember when we need to calm down. We can cuddle with a blankie. We can find a pet that we like to snuggle with. Some people like to run to help themselves calm down or do some kind of other physical activity like dancing, jumping on the trampoline, going for a calming walk. We all have big emotions. We all get mad and sad and angry, just like little monkey. We want to make sure that we have some tools so that when we're ready to calm down, after we've cried, after we've had a little tantrum, we have some tools that we can use that help us calm down. So I want you to talk with your family today and see what your family might do when they need to calm down. See if you can come up with a toolbox of things that you can do when you need a little calm down time. Hope you have a great week. See you next time.